Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome at the press conference that follows the meeting of Foreign Affairs Council in Defense Formation that just concluded its work. Uh, High Representative Federica Mogherini uh, will briefly uh, present the outcomes of the discussions and then we'll take a few of your questions. High Rep, you have the floor. Thank you. Is it on? Yes. Thank you, and sorry for the uh, short delay, but uh, we took a little bit more of time, uh, uh, in particular uh, for our lunch with the uh, Deputy Secretary General of NATO. With him, uh, we discussed uh, uh, the good EU-NATO cooperation. Uh, he debriefed us also on the preparation of the leaders' meeting that NATO is going to have in London in the beginning of December. Uh, and uh, uh, I would say that the common assessment we share is that uh, uh, the EU-NATO cooperation has never been so positive, uh, so concrete, and uh, uh, we've uh, um, uh, looked at different uh, issues on which uh, uh, we can even improve it further. Uh, the morning had started with the um, European Defence Agency steering board, uh, and then we moved on uh, with the defence ministers in the formation of the European Union Council, um, where we discussed mainly two issues. Uh, the news uh, for today is that uh, the ministers adopted uh, 13 new projects uh, under PESCO, the Permanent Structure Cooperation. Uh, this brings the total number of PESCO projects that have been launched uh, to 47, uh, which is a, a significant number. And now, uh, in the coming months, the focus will be, first of all, on implementation, making sure that these projects deliver on their purpose, uh, and obviously also on looking at uh, how to move forward in the coming years. But again, this will be an issue for the Council in the coming uh, months and years. Uh, ministers also discussed uh, um, our missions and operations. Uh, we have 16 missions and operations currently ongoing uh, under the EU flag with uh, more than 5,000 men and women uh, in uniform serving uh, the European Union uh, missions and operations. I made a, a call uh, upon member states to make sure that these missions and operations have the adequate resources, both human and uh, financial resources, capability-wise, uh, uh, to fulfill their mandate that was agreed by member states and ministers. Uh, and I would say that, uh, in particular, the focus was put on our African missions, uh, in particular in the Sahel. We decided to increase our presence and improve the level of support we are giving to our Sahel partners. This is an investment in the European Union security, both in terms of uh, fighting uh, terrorism, but also uh, organized crime. Uh, and also, uh, we discussed the need to improve and increase our presence and our uh, work uh, in the Horn of Africa, both in Somalia, but also off the Horn of Africa coasts, uh, with a very successful maritime operation we have had in place since years now, Atalanta, that has been focusing on anti-piracy, successfully so, but that might now need to refocus also on other maritime uh, security challenges. Uh, but that is for um, uh, discussion uh, for the ministers in the months to come, uh, as they will be discussing uh, the review of the operation itself. I think I will stop here and uh, leave more space to your questions for once. Thank you very much. As usually, please introduce yourself and the media you're working for, and I'll start with Jean-Pierre. 